Here we have a GraphQL server with GraphQL Yoga. It's implementing subscriptions in memory here with the simple pub sub bus. In production, you'll want to use something like Kafka or Redis. Here we'll implement Redis and we'll use the Redis event target package. That's a utility from GraphQL Yoga. To get started, let's go ahead and install two new dependencies. The first thing that we'll install will be IO Redis. And if you've used Redis before, this package is probably very familiar. The second will install GraphQL Yoga slash Redis event target. Now that's installed, let's have a look at the resolvers for our GraphQL Yoga server. You can see here that we pass in PubSub to our server via context. And for our subscription, we listen to the topic new message, passing along that room ID. Then if we have a look at the mutation, we can see here that we simply publish a new message with that topic ID and the new message. And if we go up, we can see that we're importing our schema.graphql file, which contains our schema for our GraphQL server. You'll notice that inside of our GraphQL server that we only have access to this PubSub bus. But if you wanted to access it outside of the GraphQL Yoga server, well, that is impossible because we need something like Redis where we can distribute and persist those messages on those topics. Let's begin by importing Redis from IO Redis. Then we'll go ahead and import create Redis event target. Now let's go ahead and create two new variables. The first will be publish clients and we'll instantiate new Redis. And we'll be using the default of Redis for the connection string. We'll then create a second client for subscribing. Then we'll create a new variable and we'll call this event target. With this, we can then invoke that create Redis event target. And we can pass along the publish client method and we can pass subscribe client. So here we have our two Redis clients for the event target for publishing and subscribing. Then all that's left to do inside of here where we create a new pub sub is we pass it the event target. You'll want to make sure that you have Redis running I'm using Homebrew on my local machine, but I could also use Docker or a hosted Redis instance. Now with this running, all that's left to do is run my development server. And now GraphQL Yoga is using Redis for the PubSub bus. Inside of one window, I'm going to run the subscription. This is now listening on the topic with the room ID of one. Then inside of another window, I'm going to execute the same mutation to send a new message to the room. You'll see that this message has successfully been delivered. And if we update this and we resend that GraphQL mutation, we can see here that this data is successfully being subscribed to using Redis. If we inspect the Redis database, we can see here we have subscribe and publish. So there we have it. We're using Redis inside of our GraphQL Yoga server to manage the subscriptions part. It's important to note that Redis requires a stable, long running connection. So using something like a serverless or an edge function for your GraphQL server with Redis for subscriptions is probably not the best place. We'll learn more about subscriptions and how to deal with them on the front end in another video.